Hi, it's John, a third year Western U student rotating at Dr. Benzer at the Cardiovascular Institute. Today I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about a 31-year-old male with palpitations. Um, the first thing you want to do with every EKG is look at the rate. You go ahead and look at lead 2, go 300, 150, 175, and then 60. Again, 300, 150, 100, 75. So the ventricular rate is around 75. Um, neither tachycardic or bradycardic. Now next you want to do is go ahead, is this, in, is this sinus rhythm? You look at lead two, um, you look for the P, is there a P for every QRS? There is a P for every QRS, a P for QRS. And then you go ahead and look for the QRS, is there a P for every QRS? Or is there a QRS for every P? And there is, QRS for every P. So you know this is in sinus rhythm. One of the other things that you do find also, you also have to look at, is there a shortened PR interval, elongated PR interval? And here in lead three, you can appreciate a shortened P interval, PR interval. Here in V3, again, is a shortened PR interval. And in V2, you can also appreciate, again, a shortened PR interval. Okay, so you appreciate a shortened PR interval. Another thing that you can also see in this slide is the EKG is that if you look at the arrows at V4, here, you can appreciate this curve. Also here, V2, another curve, and V3, another curve, and V, and then three, lead three, you can also appreciate this curve. This curve is called the delta wave, okay? And the, Q, and the QRS, if you take a look at it, this, this QRS complex is between point, is about 0.10 seconds. And let's go ahead and discuss that in the next slide. So in wolf parkinson white pattern, the PR interval is less than 0.12 seconds. The initial slurring of the QRS, that little hump here, is the delta wave, which results in a QRS duration of greater than 10.1 seconds. Okay? So what causes this wolf parkinson white pattern? It's called the accessory bundle of Kent, and it causes a ventricular pre-excitation in WPW pattern and in syndrome. So the WPW pattern or, and syndrome is important because persons with such an accessory pathway can have paroxysmal tachycardia. One of the things to look for um, to differentiate uh, between Wolf-Parkinson-White pattern and Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome is that in Wolf-Parkinson-White Wolf pattern, um, it requires delta waves and a short PR interval. However, in Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, it requires delta waves, a short PR, and a history of SVT tach or atrial fibrillation. 